What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And moving on to another factoring video, we're gonna be factoring these expressions here. These are a little bit unique, as you can see. And in this particular case, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be factoring out binomial common factors. This is actually a prerequisite for a certain technique called factoring by grouping, which we'll go over in another video. But here what we're gonna be doing, if you notice that the brackets are the same and the brackets are binomial, so we're gonna be taking out those factors. They're called binomial common factors. You may see that kind of terminology come up. Maybe the question will say factor by factoring out binomial common factors. So here we got 4x times x plus 2 plus 3 times x plus 2. So instead of just taking out an integer or just one variable, we're going to take out this common binomial factor from both of these. So we take out the x plus 2, and then what are we left with? Well, we'd be left with 4x plus 3, like that and that ends up being the factored version. And I'm not gonna do this for every one of these, but just to confirm that this does work out, notice what would happen if we would expand everything here and simplify. So taking the 4x and then distributing it in the bracket, we'd have 4x squared plus 8x plus distributing the three in the bracket, we would have 3x plus six. Notice these are like terms, so we'd end up with 4x squared plus 11x plus 6 if we expand this side. Now notice what would happen if we expand these. We'd have 4x squared plus 3x plus 8x plus 6. So notice we get the exact same thing. So it's kind of cool how that works out. Both of them end up being the same and they would be for all of these over here. So Moving on to part B, notice that we got x times y plus z plus 5 times y plus z. So what we can do, we could take out the y plus z for both of these. That's the common binomial expression. And what are we left with? We're left with x plus 5 right here. Moving on to the next one, notice 5y times x minus 2 minus 3 times x minus 2. We could take out the x minus 2. Same pattern, we're left with 5y minus 3. Now this next one here, this one's going to be unique. Actually, this kind of case we're going to make a separate video for as well, but wanted to throw it in here because it sometimes comes up. Notice we got 5x times x minus 2 plus 2 times 2 minus x. So notice that right now we can't factor out a binomial because x minus 2 and 2 minus x are actually not the same. But what we could do is we can make them both the same by either taking out a negative from this one or taking out a negative from this one. And I feel like taking out the negative from this one is better. So notice that what would happen if we do that, let's actually just work with 2 minus x on its own for a sec. If I take out a negative 1, Basically, all the signs would change, so we'd end up with negative 2 plus x, like that. And then we could rearrange this, and it would be x minus 2. So 2 minus x is the same as negative bracket x minus 2. And so what you want to do is you want to take that and convert it here, because then you're going to have that x minus 2 that's a common factor. So what we would do is we could rewrite this as plus 2 times this negative one here that's in front times x minus two. Okay, this and this, they're the exact same thing. And then what you could do is you could take the negative one and multiply it by the two. So you would end up with five x, x minus two, and then you'd have negative two, x minus two. And usually this step isn't shown. Usually textbooks would show going from here to here. We're taking out a negative from this bracket. So this positive 2 becomes a negative 2. And then you're left with that x minus 2. Basically, both of those get flipped. And now notice we have a common binomial factor. We could take out the x minus 2 and we're left with 5x 
minus 2 instead of 5x plus 2 like that. Now it's also possible, so this is the solution right there. Now it's also possible that you could take out the negative from this one, but watch what happens with the format. It's going to be a little bit weird if we take out a negative from here. So we put the negative 5x and then we'd end up with instead of x minus 2, we'd have 2 minus x. And then this would stay the same. And then we could take out a 2 minus x and we'd be left with negative 5x plus 2. But then notice you got a negative over here. It's just a little weird of a format. You could also switch these so we'd have 2 minus x, uh, 2 minus 5x. Okay, so that's another potential solution. Uh, but I feel like the other format is nicer of taking out the negative here and then having x minus 2 times 5x minus 2. Okay, x minus 2 times 5x minus 2, this and this, they're the exact same thing. If you were to expand this, if you were to expand that, simplify it, you'd get the exact same thing, but this is just a nicer format in my opinion. But maybe if this is a multiple choice question, that format may be there as well. So just be careful with these kinds of questions. And again, with these kinds of factors where we've got to take out a negative first, I'm going to do a separate video on this as well later on in the section. But for this one, either of these solutions work. And then part E, it's actually really easy. I'm not going to even write anything. We got 5x times x minus 2 plus 2 times x plus 2. Basically, this one is not possible. Okay, because the x minus 2 and the x plus 2 are different binomials, and there's no way that I could take x minus 2 and convert it to x plus 2. So even if we take a negative out of here, we'd end up with negative x minus 2, which would be different from x minus 2. Or if I take out a negative from here, we'd end up with that 2 minus x, 2 minus x, and x plus 2, they're different. Okay, so you could only make this method that we did in part D work is if there's a negative in between them, and then these two terms on the ends are the same. They're just flipped over. Here we have x minus 2, here we have 2 minus x. But if we got x minus 2 and then x plus 2, right, this positive kind of ruins that. We can't really do anything there, right? So both of these are different. We can't take out any factors here. So part E is actually not possible.